Hi, Dan from DJ More Lofts, and today I'm gonna to showcase this finished project that we've completed through YouTube. Now, if you followed us on our YouTube journey, you would have seen some of the videos that we've produced all the way through on this build from the very start, and now we're about to show you the fully completed build. So, follow me, let's go have a little look, and we'll talk you through all the process. So, the stairs. This is the first part of any loft conversion. So in every property, we always try and get the stairs to incorporate into the existing layout as best we can. So in this scenario, we've been able to get the stairs straight up and over the existing, but originally there was a shower in this area here. So we've had to reconfigure it slightly so that we can put the stairs starting here. And then we've got a single wind, very similar to the existing. So the same width, same handrails, everything like that. So everything matches and flows lovely. And I think you'll agree, we've got a fantastic layout here. And then we've also got the added benefit of this fantastic two-in-one V-Lux directly over these stairs. So not only does it flood this existing landing with natural light, this new transition up to the loft is fantastic. Speaking of the loft, let's go have a little look. So now walking through these two fantastic oak doors, we look into this now master bedroom suite that we've created for the client. And wow, what a space. Now look at this, this is lovely, bright, airy, and such a big area that we've been able to create up here thanks to this flat roof dormer that we've got to the rear. And you'll see here we've got the three in one V-Lux windows here. So this is the top hung version, which is again, flooding the room with natural light. And then on top of that, we've got another big area behind you that we'll show you in a sec, but this is the main master suite now of the new house, which is fantastic. We've also added the benefit of having George come in and do some fitted wardrobes to the client here. So we've got these nine drawers and a little door at the end, just utilizing all this space that we've got here. You'll see here that we've got king size bed, which kind of just looks lost in the room because it is such a big space, it's phenomenal. Um, we've got reading lights either side there for a nice little feature. And I really love the color wall that the client's got there because it kind of just shows the original shape of what the loft was. And then you'll see here with the angle that's been added from the dormer, the amount of usable space that that dorm has been able to give into this conversion. So let's go have a look at the bathroom and the dressing room we've got the other end. So this is now the new en suite for the master bedroom. So we've been able to incorporate a lovely big shower and we've got the toilet here underneath this V-Lux window, nice big basin and an LED mirror. Quite a spacious en suite considering the amount of slope that we've got in it, but it works really well. And it's a lovely bright area again, thanks to not only the V-Luxes, but we've also got these lovely LED feature lights that we've been able to put in the soap box. And then we've also incorporated this lovely little, I'd say a soap box, but just an area that we, their client can utilize for towels and storage and stuff like that. But let's go look at the dressing room. So this is a cute little dressing room that we've incorporated for the client. So the client from the beginning was keen to try and utilize the space as best they can. The brief was to give a lovely big master bedroom, but what we've been able to do is give them the opportunity to add this little area down here as a little walk-in wardrobe area, which the client likes. It's tight, don't get me wrong, it is a small little space, but they're over the moon that we've been able to incorporate this small little area and utilize it for their own benefit. Let's go back to the main loft area and we'll show you some of the other benefits that we've been able to incorporate in this space as well. So on this loft, we've also incorporated aircon. So working closely with our partner company that we work with, they've been able to install the aircon for us and we've been able to hide all of the pipe works as part of the first fix during the build. So nothing is on show, which looks fantastic. Obviously with the amount of insulation that goes in these lofts nowadays, they can be a little bit warmer, especially as the summer months are getting hotter just in general. So it is a big thing that clients are incorporating is aircon now. So it is becoming a popular extra. Um, but this helps not only in the summer, keeping everything cool, but it also works fantastic during the uh, during the winter for heating the loft as well so it's another great added if we follow back over to here though we, i just want to touch on these v-luxes that we fitted so now these are what they call the new three in one v-lux um, fantastic window um, you have the added benefit on these ones that they're what's called top hung so you basically have the ability to be able to open them from the very top so they're hinged but you've also got the ability for a center pivot as well so you've got the best of both in this win in this window design obviously for me the idea of this window being installed here is to give another vocal point to the room so it's a fantastic option that's worth considering if you wanted to go for that little bit more of a special detail in a room to give that lovely little bit of feature and i think you'll agree in this scenario it works works really well having that extra light on the front area because we've got all of this light from the rear windows. It makes sense to have some light on the front just to keep it very much equal. As well as that, you stand back and it looks like a fantastic feature to the room. On top of that, we've also got the V-Lux blinds that we've added in on this one. So you'll see here along the top, there's this section here. Now this actually incorporates the V-Lux blind. And if I grab this remote control here, 
If I press the button, hopefully all three should come down very much in line with each other. So this has got the solar blinds on this, which is a fantastic another option that can be considered when it comes to blind and windows and stuff like that. But obviously with them being solar, there's no wires, it's all remote control, it is dead easy to install. It's a fantastic another option to incorporate when it comes to a loft conversion. Because blackout blinds not only help when it's come to sleeping, but they, again, they keep the heat out from penetrating the room and help keep the room a lot cooler in the summer months. And again, working with one of our partners, we've been able to help source and fit this fantastic little wardrobe piece. Now this is fully fit and bespoke to this room and you'll even notice the color has been deliberately chosen to match the existing wall color. So it all blends in lovely along with these oak features here. Kind of complements all the original oak doors that we've matched throughout the property as well. So everything ties in and looks beautiful. On top of that, the carpet that I'm stood on as well, we've been able to help the client from the very beginning, not only with fitted wardrobes, painting, and even the carpet, we've got a partner specialist that helps us choose the carpet and basically they can liaise with them direct, help save money and basically we can just deliver that full package from very much from the start to the very end. As touched on, this is only possible thanks to this fantastic dormer space that we've been able to achieve. So all of this area here wasn't here without this dormer. So why don't we go jump outside, we'll show you what the dormer looks like and we can talk through that as well. So behind me, you'll see the finished flat roof dormer that we've completed here. So this is what we touched on that gave us all that space upstairs. Now this flat roof dormer has been finished with a gray hardy plank cladding. I believe it's the anthracite cutter. And then we've also got anthracite windows, anthracite fascia and black gutter. So we've almost gone for like a stealth look. Now, a lot of people when considering to finish their dormer consider to go more modern or go original like with plain tiles and stuff like that. Obviously, this is a relatively new estate so that a lot of this cladding product is already used on this estate. So we decided to opt for this on this property because it just fit, fits in really well. I mean, my personal preference is we actually like the cladding really well compared to the tiles because it just looks a little bit dated. But in this scenario, it looks lovely and modern, clean. It doesn't distort, doesn't fade over time. So it just looks as fresh as it does as of today. But Thanks for watching this video. If you like this series, by all means, let us know in the comments. Like I said, we have done the whole journey of this build. So go back, have a look through some of our videos. I think we've got around 20 videos showcasing this exact build from very much from the day one to this finished video that we've got here. Hit that bell button as well, because we'll, we're gonna be coming back with some more videos in the new year as well. So if you wanna see some of the newer stuff that we're doing, hit that bell button and subscribe. But as always, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you again on the next video. Enjoy. Thank you.